Need to replace your fin strap? Check out Fin Clip for a hands-free fin strap. This channel is all about scuba diving and snorkeling, gear, training and travel. So if you're interested in any of those topics, then put some pressure on that subscribe button and ring that dive bell to make sure you get notifications when I drop new videos. Fin straps, probably not the first thing you think of when you think about innovation in scuba diving equipment. Picture this, a busy dive boat rolling in the swell. You've got your kit on, you've got your camera in one hand and your other hand free to hold onto the boat. You walk up the companion way and you drop your fins in, in front of you so you can put them on. Then you have to put your camera down or give it to somebody else who probably doesn't love it as much as you do while you pull your fins on and do up the straps. If you compare to ski boots, you quickly realize that diving fin straps just haven't changed since they were first invented. At least with ski boots, you just walk up, slip your foot in, click your heel down and snap. You're in. I must admit, I hadn't thought of it until I saw Finclip. So I got hold of Finclip and I asked them if I could try them out. I had to let them know three things. What fins I have, so they know which buckle will fit my fins. I usually dive with Mare's Avanti Quattro fins. What fins do you dive with? Let me know in the comments. The length of the strap that I need, they've got a guide to follow so you will get it right. And the color that I want. Simple. When they arrived, I had slightly mixed feelings. They were packed off in single-use plastic, which I would love to see changed in the future. I asked Paolo, who owns Finclip, about this, and he said that they're considering how to reduce their environmental footprint while still maintaining a low cost that a startup needs, things like warehousing and distribution. I can understand that, and I look forward to their packaging innovations in the future. My next hurdle was to figure out how to assemble and fit the straps. As I worked through, I found I really enjoyed the process. It's not often in diving that I get to build part of the equipment that I'm diving with. It was really satisfying to put together and it gave me an appreciation of the quality and strength of the material and the engineering. Off to test in the pool. Typical guy, I didn't read the instructions so I bent down to fit the fins with my hands like I normally would. I later found a video that shows just how to put the fins on. Stand on the edge of the fin and slide your foot in. Step back on your heel and the strap snaps up into place. Repeat for the next fin and you have a truly hands-free experience. I hadn't really considered that the fin clip would add volume into the boot space when my foot was in place and so it ended up being quite tight. Truth is, those fins are always on the tight side and luckily I had another set of fins that were slightly larger. I swapped the fin clip onto a larger set of fins and it worked perfectly. I didn't even have to refer back to the instructions. With a little bit of tweaking to get them set up correctly, they've become one of my favorite pieces of new kit. They make donning my fins super easy and hands-free, which is great because I've always got camera gear with me. If you're like me and you enjoy gadgets that make your life easier, perhaps you like to tinker with your equipment, then these fin straps are a great find. Just make sure you've got an extra seven or eight millimeters in the boot of your fin to allow for the space that the fin clip will take up. They'll make a great gift for Christmas, Father's Day, birthday. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description below. This channel is all about scuba diving and snorkeling, gear, training and travel. If you're interested in any of those topics, then put some pressure on that subscribe button, ring that dive bell to make sure you get notifications when I drop new videos and check out this video on the best dive mask I've owned for 20 years.